My mom had asked, why I write about the tough things when the world will never be completely rid of the bad? And I said to her, I don't write to get rid of the bad, nor change the minds of those committed to negative and harmful ideals. I write to give hope to those who are tired and feel alone like I do for feeling the way they do and for wanting better. But today is one of those days I write for those who don't agree with wanting change. For the men and women who can't bear to hear anything on the likes of men, women, or domestic violence. I just want to know, what are you protecting? When you don't hold your brothers accountable, when you don't step up even if you're one of the good ones, what is your silence and inaction protecting? What is worth more than protecting the lives and safety of your mothers, your sisters, your daughters, your women? Let me ask again. Who does protecting and empowering and loving our Hmong women harm? Who does wanting better for not just women but all of us threaten? How does Hmong women thriving and winning hurt anyone? Because when we win, you win too. We always carry you with us through your name, your family, your children, our culture, clothing, and traditions. You can be a good man, but that does not mean the work stops there. It starts with how you view women when you are alone, how you speak of them when you are with other men, what you say or do not say when other men catcall, threaten, disrespect, or harm women. It starts with how you treat your mothers, sisters, girlfriends, wives, nieces, and daughters. What you say to them, how you speak to them, how you show them you support and care for them, and how you intentionally create and allow safe spaces for them. And if you were a good man, why does demanding the accountability of abusive men threaten you? There is domestic violence in every community, but this is our community, so why is it so wrong for us to care? When we say that we are being hurt and when you see us being killed, is it so hard to believe us? And if you are still asking why we are making a big deal about this, it's precisely because you are even asking such a question when lives are being taken. The number of men and women who still exist that always first ask what she did wrong and why she didn't leave instead of how can we help. How can we help? How can we solve this together? Is it so hard and terrifying to lean in and be curious to create a better world for both of us? Where women can feel safe and men won't feel resented? Is it so hard to be hurt, afraid, and enraged with us? Is it so hard to want better with us? I can go on and on on how women can be better, how they can be stronger, choose better partners, leave sooner, but I am tired. My women are tired. They have been striving for better for generations, whether you would like to acknowledge it or not. My men, it is your time to step up, to pick up your part of our team, and it does not start with what us women say or do about you, whether we encourage and applaud you or not, because us women have been evolving and conquering with or without you. Our lives have flourished drastically from our grandparents' generation, and none of that would have been possible with silence, inaction, and not caring. So please, show up for the women in your lives and for you.